Hey, it's Elizabeth County Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to talk about the best intermittent fasting results for weight loss. Coming up next. And on this episode, we're going to talk about having the best intermittent fasting results for weight loss. So hi guys, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb. I've lost 50 pounds through intermittent fasting and the keto diet and I'm chugging towards losing that last 50 pounds. I have a new course coming out called Crush It With Countess of how to break through your weight loss stall, which is exactly what I have done. So in today's episode, oh, and if you're interested in that, it's in the description link below. But today's episode, let's talk about how you have the best results through intermittent fasting using something that I personally use that has changed my intermittent fasting game. And what I do is planning out and using my planner to help figure out my intermittent fasting times. Some of y'all have asked, how do you do your intermittent fasting schedule? Super simple. I don't buy anything. It's an easy free tool. And that tool is Google Calendar. What I do is on my phone, I use my Google Calendar. I used to use Post-its, but my three-year-old son would take them and remove them, and then I would not remember what time I was supposed to do fasting. So now I use it on my phone, simply plug it in at 5 a.m. I'll type in the 5 a.m. time spot and make the color red so it's bold and not confusing with my other schedule. What my fasting time, like the start time is, and then what how many hours I fasted for that day. So for example, yesterday, I started my fasting time at 6.30 p.m., and I fasted yesterday for 20 hours. So in my little app, let me show you. That's what it looked like in my phone of 20 hours for fasting. My start time was 6 p.m. So it was really easy today when I wanted to do a 20 hour fast to know that I would end my fast and break my fast at 2 p.m. because of yesterday looking at the times. Now, there are a lot of apps out there, but for security reasons, I get a little bit nervous typing all my information in, and it's really simple to use it through Google Calendar. In addition, I can see trends through my Google Calendar by looking at the data to see, oh my gosh, on certain days I do really, really well, and I could feasibly amp up my intermittent fasting times. And other, other days I can also see, gosh, those were not my best intermittent fasting times. I could be a little bit more gentler, easier, and have my less fasting times on those specific days, right? For me, I personally found that Sunday nights are awesome to do Sunday night into Monday, a 24 hour fast, a 48 hour fast, Monday and Tuesday, because my family typically doesn't go out to eat on those days. We don't go out to restaurants, so it makes it super, super simple, less social engagements too. But on the weekends is where I find I have high social engagements, I'm meeting with friends, meeting with family, and so those are not my best intermittent fasting times. Thus is where, I, thus, <laughs> that's where I relax my intermittent fasting times and I'm not striving as hardcore for the fasting times during the weekends. So using Google calendars, and let me show you my calendar. You can see the different times in the week of where I've gone hardcore, where I've gone less hardcore. Um, and in the description link below, I'm gonna put a blog post too. If you're a visual person like I am, I need to visually see as opposed to auditorily hearing it. But it makes for really simple planning. It makes a free tool and it makes my, it has made my fat loss, weight loss. I've lost so much more weight doing this method versus doing other methods or trying to plan it in my head or try to write it on a post-it that my three-year-old son, who's almost three, runs around and moves to the post-its and so then I don't have the information at my fingertips. Having it in Google Calendar at the 5 a.m. time spot ensures that it doesn't get clouded with other appointments that I have and I can easily see the data of how long my fasting time is going to be. In addition, it helps me build my times, which has made my weight loss even better because I can visually see where I need to improve on, what I need to work on, and how I need to work on it. So I hope that this video helped you. If it did, put below calendar in the comments, and then I'll know that I should do more video topics on how to get better intermittent fasting results. That you like this video by clicking like and also clicking subscribe and hitting the little bell up there for notifications too if you want to see more videos just like this one. I can't wait to share with you guys my Crush It With Countess, my new weight loss stall course coming out too. And I'm wishing you guys a powerful day. Bye guys! <music>